Hello kids, welcome to today's maths class and today we will do understanding quadrilaterals. Introduction. In the previous class, we have already learned about quadrilaterals. Now in this chapter, let us have a quick view of what we have already learned. A quadrilateral is a four side close figure. Four side close figure, that is a quadrilateral. In the given figure, we can see a quadrilateral A, B, C, D in this quadrilateral A, B, C, D, we have the following element. First is vertices. Vertices means corners. The point A, B, C, D are called as vertices. So, point A, B, C, D, these are the vertices. Next, opposite vertices. The vertices A and C, B and D are called opposite vertices. Opposite vertices, B and D and A and C. Clear? Next is sides. The line segment AB, BC, CD, AD are called the sides of the quadrilateral ABCD. So, these line segment AB, BC, DC, and AD, these are the sides of quadrilateral. Clear? Next, opposite sides. Two sides of the quadrilateral having no common endpoint are called its opposite side. A, B and D, C and D, C and B, C are opposite sides of the quadrilateral. Like here, B, C ke opposite to jai ki A, D and A, B ke opposite D, C. Clear? Next is adjacent sides. Two sides of the quadrilateral having the common end point is called the adjacent side. A, D like here. A, D and DC adjacent A, AD and AB are adjacent, same AB and BC are adjacent and BC and DC are adjacent like this. These are the adjacent sides. Next is angles. Angles of jayenge A, B, C, D are the angles of quadrilateral. These are the angle A, B, C and D. These are the angles of quadrilateral. Next is opposite angles. Opposite angle, two angles of the quadrilateral not having the common arm is called the opposite angle. Like angle A and C. A and C are opposite and B and D are opposite angles. Clear? Next is adjacent angles. Angle A and B. Like here, angle A and B, they are adjacent. B and C are adjacent. C and D are adjacent. D and A are adjacent. These are the adjacent angles. Next is diagonals. Diagonals are the line segment joining the opposite vertices of the quadrilateral is called as diagonal. In the given figure, AC and BD are the two diagonals of the quadrilateral ABCD. Opposite vertices means AC and BD. These are the two diagonals. Clear? Next is note to remember. Concave polygon, some portion of at least one diagonals lie in its exterior. Clear? That is concave polygon. Next is regular polygon. When each angles and side of the polygon is equal, then it is said to be regular polygon. Irregular polygon? When angles and measure of sides are different, then it is said to be an irregular polygon. Sides and angle equal are, that means it is regular. Sides and angles are not equal, that means it is irregular polygon. Next is quadrilaterals. A quadrilateral is a figure with four sides and four angles. The sum of the angle of quadrilateral is 360 degree. In the figure, PQRS is a quadrilateral in which PQRS is called the point of vertices. Here, P, Q, R and S. These are the vertices. Line segment, PQ, QR, SR and PS. These are called sides of the quadrilateral. Line segment, PR and QS. These are the diagonals. PR and QS. These are the diagonals. The line segment with joint opposite vertices is known as diagonals. P, Q and R and S. These are the angle. Angle P, angle Q, angle R and angle S. These are the called angles. Next is angle sum property of quadrilateral. 
interior angle sum property. Here we shall learn about the important property related to the interior angles of quadrilateral and other polygon. The sum of angle of quadrilateral is 360 degree or 4 right angle. Proof? will prove that to sum of angle that is equals to sum of 4 angle. Interior 4 angle that is 360 degree. Let A, B, C, D be quadrilateral. Draw one of diagonal A, C like here. A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral and A, C is a diagonal. Clear? Clearly angle 1 and 2 equals to angle A. Angle A 1 plus 2. Clear? And 3 plus 4 kya ho jayega? Angle C. We know that the sum of all angles of triangle is 180 degree. Therefore, in triangle ABC, if we take this triangle ABC, clear? Sum kya ho jayega? That is 180 degree. So, 1 plus 4 plus B means 1 plus 4 plus B. That is total 180 degree. Same in triangle ADC triangle ADC. Sum of 3 angle is 180 degree means angle 2, 3 and D that is 180 degree. On adding 1 and 2, 1 or 2 ko add karing if so we will get angle 1 plus angle 4 plus angle B plus angle 2 plus 3 plus D that is 180 plus 180. Angle 1 plus 2, we will arrange kar lenge. plus angle B 3 plus 4 and angle D 360 degree. So, kya ho jayega? Angle A plus angle B because 1 and 2 kya angle A, then angle B, C kya 3 and 4 and then angle D, total 360 degree. Clear? Note to remember. The sum of all interior angle of N side polygons is 2 and minus 4 right angle, 2 and minus 4 into 90 degree. Each interior angle of the regular polygon is 2 and minus 4 upon n into 90 degree. The sum of the exterior angle of polygon is 360 degree. The measure of each exterior angle of n side regular polygon is 360 degree upon n. Next is solve examples. Three angles of the quadrilaterals are 48 degree, 84 degree and 103 degree. Find the measure of fourth angle. So, let us suppose the measure of fourth angle is x degree since we know the sum of the angle of quadrilateral is 360 degree. So, 48 degree plus 84 degree plus 103 plus x total 360 degree. Add three angles that is 235 plus x that is 360 degree equal to jayega. So, x equals to 360 minus 235 125 degree. Hence, the measure of the fourth angle is 125 degree. Practice all the examples given here. Next is exercise 3.1. In the adjoining figure A, B, C, D is a quadrilateral. How many pair of adjacent sides are there? Name them. Adjacent sides A, B and B, C. A, B and A, D. These are adjacent. Say B, C and D, C. B, C and A, B. They are adjacent. AD and DC, AD and AB, they are adjacent, DC and AB, AD and DC and BC, they are adjacent. Like this, you can make the pair of adjacent side. Clear? So, practice all the questions of this exercise, we will move to next topic. That is various type of quadrilaterals. First one is a parallelogram. As the name suggests, a parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which both pair of opposite sides are parallel. Both pair of opposite sides like this and this pair and this and this. Clear? So, properties of parallelogram. The opposite sides are equal. Opposite sides like PQ and SR are equal and PS and QR are equal. The opposite angles are equal. Opposite angle means angle P and R are equal, S and Q are equal. Diagonal bisect each other. Diagonals are draw karenge, they will bisect each other. Next is rectangle. Rectangle is a kind of parallelogram 
हुस ईच एंगल इज राइट एंगल मीन्स जितने भी एंगल होंगे दैट इज ऑफ 90 डिग्री नेक्स्ट इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रेक्टेंगल द ऑपोजिट साइड्स आर इक्वल इन रेक्टेंगल ऑपोजिट साइड्स आर इक्वल मीन्स पी क्यू एंड एस आर आर इक्वल एंड पी एस एंड क्यू आर इक्वल ईच एजेंट एंगल इज राइट एंगल डायग्नल्स आर इक्वल एंड बाइसेकट ईच अदर नेक्स्ट इज स्क्वायर A square is a parallelogram having a pair of adjacent sides are equal and one angle is right angle. Properties of square: all sides are equal in square. All sides are equal means A B B C D C and A D all are equal. Each adjacent angle is right angle means 90 degree. Diagonals are equal and bisect each other at right angle. जिस point पे bisect करेंगे वहाँ पे 90 degree का angle बनेगा. Next is rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram having the pair of adjacent sides are equal. Properties of rhombus: all sides are equal, opposite sides are parallel. In rhombus, opposite sides parallel hongi. That means P S and Q R are parallel and P Q and S R are parallel. Diagonals of the rhombus bisect each other at right angle. Next is trapezium. A quadrilateral having only one Opposite pair is parallel. It's called trapezium. Another side of the trapezium is non-parallel, like one pair. P, Q, and S are parallel, and P, S, and Q are that are not parallel. So one side, that is one pair of side that is parallel. That is trapezium. Next is isosceles trapezium. A trapezium whose non-parallel sides are equal called isosceles trapezium, like here in this trapezium. AD and BC they are non parallel side they will be equal so it is an isosceles trapezium next is note to remember every rhombus is a parallelogram but the converse is not true means every parallelogram rhombus nahi hoga every rectangle is a parallelogram but the converse is not true means iska ulta hai wo true nahi hai every square is a parallelogram but the converse is not true Every square is a rhombus but the converse is not true. Every square is a rectangle but the converse is not true. Next is kite. A quadrilateral is called a kite if it has two pair of equal adjacent side but opposite sides are different. So here PS and PQ are equal and SR and QR are equal. Next properties of kite the diagonals are perpendicular to One another. One of the diagonal bisect the other. Clear? Next, we'll take an example. A B C D is a parallelogram in which angle B is 70 degree. Find the measure of other angle. So, as we know, the opposite angle of parallelogram are equal. That means angle B is 70 degree. So, its opposite angle D that would be 70 degree. So, B plus C that is 180 degree. So B की जगह 70 रखेंगे रखेंगे C कितना हो जाएगा 180 एटी माइनस सेवेंटी दैट इज वन हंड्रेड टेन इफ एंगल सी इज वन हंड्रेड टेन एंगल ए वुड बी वन हंड्रेड टेन डिग्री नेक्स्ट इज एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट टू पी क्यू आर एस इज अ पैरलोग्राम इन विच एंगल क्यू सिक्सटी फाइव डिग्री फाइंड द मेजर ऑफ द रिमेनिंग एंगल P Q R S. This is a parallelogram. Here, angle Q is given, that is 65 degree. As we know, in parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. So, angle S equals to jayega 65 degree. Now, angle Q and R, that is equals to 180 degree. Q 65 degree. So, angle R equals to 180 degree. Clear? So, so, subtract कर लेंगे. 115 degree. If angle R is 115 degree, angle P equals to 115 degree. Clear? Next is things to remember. A closed plane figure bounded by four line segment is called a quadrilateral. 
द सम ऑफ एन एंगल ऑफ क्वारिलेटल इज थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री द क्वारिलेटल विद वन पेयर ऑफ पैरल साइड इज कॉल्ड ट्रपेसियम द क्वारिलेटल इन विच बोथ पेयर ऑफ ऑपोजिट साइड आर पैरल एंड इक्वल इज कॉल्ड पैरलोग्राम इफ ऑल द फोर साइड ऑफ पैरलोग्राम आर इक्वल दैन इट इज कॉल्ड रॉम्बस अ रॉम्बस इन विच ऑल एंगल्स आर राइट एंगल इज कॉल्ड स्क्वेयर इन अ पैरलोग्राम ऑपोजिट साइड आर इक्वल ऑपोजिट एंगल्स आर इक्वल डायगनल बाइसेकट ईच अदर ईच डायगनल बाइसेक द पैरलोग्राम इन टू कॉन्ग्रेंट ट्राइंगल द डायगनल ऑफ द रॉम्बस बाइसेकट ईच अदर एट राइट एंगल द डायगनल ऑफ अ स्क्वेयर आर इक्वल एंड बाइसेकट ईच अदर एट राइट एंगल द डायगनल ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगल आर इक्वल एंड बाइसेकट ईच अदर क्लियर नेक्स्ट इज मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन Take the correct answer in each of the following. How many diagonals does a regular hexagon have? Six. So answer is D. So here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now you have to practice it.